All right, good afternoon, guys, Discovery Martial Arts and parents and students. I just want to go ahead and welcome you guys to our beginners class. All right, so this is for white, yellow, and orange belt. Okay. So, as you can see, obviously, I'm not in the dojong, but I am filming from my own house in the garage. But we are here to still bring you parents and students' content. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get straight to it. All right, so let's face this way, face the front. Chip. Something kick, can you hit Good job, kids. And again, mom and dad, check your child. If they have socks on, please go ahead and remove the socks um, just in case you guys have slippery floors and go in the slip and have an accident while we're training, okay? So let's go ahead and start off putting our hands on our heart and we're going to recite the student creed. I intend to vote myself in a positive manner or physical health. I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I can use my learning class constructively and defensively to help myself and fellow men and to never be abusive or offensive. Face this way. Chip. Can you hit? All right. So just like even though you're watching through a screen, kids, um, Stay in the class, okay? So that includes saying the student creed along with me, okay? And also sounding off at home. All right, kids, let's go ahead and jump straight into our warm ups, okay? So, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do our fast feet, okay? So fast feet, that's apart a little bit, and we wanna be on our toes, right? Ready? And fast feet. And relax. Good. All right. Now, what we're going to do into our high knees. Okay. So, remember with our high knees, where do we put our hands? We put them right in front of us in belt level. Okay. If you guys don't have your uniform on, that's fine. Just make sure you have your hands about where your waist level is. Okay. And remember, when we do our high knees, we want to bring our knees up to our hands. Okay. We don't want to put our hand down to our knee. Okay. Ready? And high knees go. And relax. All right, kids. So let's go ahead and let's test those listening skills. All right. We're going to go in between. So when I say fast feet, you're going to go fast feet. When I say high knees, you're going to transition to high knees and back and forth. Okay. So I'm going to test your listening. And fast feet, go. And high knees, go. And fast feet, go. Make sure you keep your toes on the floor, keep your toes on the floor, and not your heels, and high knees go. And fast we go. And high knees go. Good, and relax. All right, take a deep breath. Grab a quick breather and see who's online. All right, now we're going to jump in. Jack feet. So remember, our jumping jack feet jacks, right? But without the arms, okay? So we have our hands in. We're just going to open wide and go. Good, and relax. Now we're going to jump straight to our running feet. So remember, running feet is okay. So if I do this one sideways, I'm just going straight uh, line back. Okay, ready? And running feet, go. So when I do the running feet, I'm gonna make sure that my body is straight, okay? The only thing that should be moving is my legs. And relax. Now I'm gonna transition back and forth, okay? So listen very carefully. I'm gonna call it out. Or I'm gonna call out running feet. Ready? And Jumping jack feet first, ready? And running feet come. Jumping jack feet. And running feet. Jumping jack feet. 
Bring my feet. Jump and check. Bring my feet. And relax. All right, good job, beginner class. All right, let's go ahead and after that, we're going to go ahead and take a deep breath. And out. In. Out. Good job. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight into our push up sit up section, okay? So we're going to start first with 10 push ups and make sure that you guys are straight, okay? So enough room. And remember for our push ups, we want to have our back straight. And if you're on your toes, that's fine. If you're on your knees, that's fine also. But we want to have our back straight, arms straight, okay? Okay, ready? And let's go ahead and do 10 push ups first. Okay, ready? And go. And when you're done, go ahead and sit tight, 110. I'm gonna go ahead and wait a couple more seconds for everyone to finish together. And we're gonna do 15. So remember, that crunch lie down straight, back. I'm gonna have our hands on the head and our feet off the ground, legs bent. Out. And let's do 15, ready? And go. Make sure you try to touch those elbows to the knees. Good. And type one of 10 when you're done. So when you sit type one of 10 kids, as we're waiting for everyone else to finish, you want to make sure that you sit with your back straight, okay? You don't want to hunch over, okay? Sitting straight, it shows good self-control, good discipline, and it also helps you recover your breathing better, okay? So when you're tired, you want to make sure your back is straight, your body is straight. Okay, everyone should be just about done. And let's go jump back to our push-ups. We're going to do 10 push-ups. Ready? And go. Type on the 10 we're Waiting for everyone else to finish. Good job. If you guys are jumping into class, make sure you guys um, comment on the side, okay? Show me that you're in class. Let Master know that you're in class. And also, mom and dad, if you're just jumping in, you jumped in late, don't worry. Just like last week, these videos do get saved, they get archived, and you can rewatch them anytime during the week. All right, let's close it out with our last set of sit-ups. Ready? Get to that position, and we're going to do And go. And attack on the 10 when you're done. See who's online. All right, kids, let's go jump straight to our uh, stretching now. Okay, so. Let's put our legs out in front, toes facing up, and then remember we want to keep our legs straight when we reach for our toes, okay? And put our head down. Ready? And reach for your toes. Han, dul, set, neck, da, se, ya, se, ilo, da, ilo, a, hop, yo. Good job. And turn our back side to side. So, mom and dad, if you're watching with your child at home, when they reach for their toes uh, for any of the stretches, Please make sure that their legs are straight, okay? Um, if we've been in the legs, we don't really stretch them as good, okay? So make sure they're straight. And reach your toes one more time. And hand, do, set, ne, da, se, da, se, yoga, yoga, yoga. Good job. Let's go to our hurdle stretch. So we stretch 
you want to make the letter L, okay? So bend one leg and lift the letter L. And reach for the straight leg again, keep that leg straight, and reach for your toes. Set. And try to touch your head to your knee, ready to the bent knee. Hana dul set net da se ya se hil da hil a ho yo. And switch to the side. And to the straight leg. Hana dul set net da se ya se hil da hil a ho yo. Good answer. Han do set ne da se ya se il ga iru a ho yo. Good job. And let's bring our legs in for butterfly stretch. So again, with our butterfly stretch, we perfectly together. We want to tuck it in as close as we can to our body, and bounce your knees up and down. And pushing these down to the ground. And use your arms, your, your elbows to push these down. And reach your head to your toes. Hana, dun, set, da, se, ya, se, el, da, pilon, a, ho, yo. Good job, kids. And let's go ahead and open up our legs for splits position. And when we open up our splits position, we want to make sure that we have our toes still facing up. And obviously, we want our legs straight, okay? And we're going to one leg. Hana, do, set, ne, da, se, ya, se, nil, ga, pero, a, ho, yo. And to the other leg. Hana, do, set, and hands in the air, and we're going to reach to the middle. And Hana, do, set, ne, da, se, ya, se, el, da, pero, a, ho, yo. Good job, kids. And slowly bring your legs in. And go ahead and stand up. All right, if you're wearing your uniform, awesome. Go ahead and fix your belt or fix your uniform. If you're wearing your pajamas, that's fine too. What matters is that you guys are jumping in and staying with us in these classes. Now, we're going to take this time to get a quick water break, okay? So run to the kitchen, um, and let's see who can come back first. Ready? And if you're online, go ahead and type on the side that you're back, and I want to see who comes back first. Ready? And go. How's it going, Chase? Glad to see you guys online, jumping in. And we'll give a couple more seconds for the kids who still are getting their water break to finish up. And five seconds, hurry, run. Run, 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 run. All right, good job, kids. All right, so let's jump straight into our curriculum, okay? So for the curriculum, this cycle, it's our stance, okay? So remember, we have three different stances, okay, that we're going through. It's our forward stance, we have our back stance, and we have our horse riding stance, okay? So let's run through our forward stance first. To our forward stance, let's take a left leg and we're going to step forward. Make sure the front leg is bent, back leg is straight. So if I'm in this angle, I want to have this position and I want to make sure that my heel is on the ground, okay? I don't want to be able to lift my toes and have my heel up. I want to have it flat, okay? And my body is straight like this, okay? And let's go ahead and hold it for a few seconds, condition those legs. And have your hands to the side. Two, 
One. And go ahead and switch legs. Forward stance, you're going to check that front leg. Make sure it's push that back leg straight, hands to the side, and hold it. Really straight from that muscle. Okay. Keep the body straight. And four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, and keep together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead into our back stance. So our back stance, we're gonna go ahead and use our left leg to step forward, okay? But what I wanna do first is I'm gonna look at my other leg, my right leg, and I'm gonna turn. If my feet are together, I want my toes on my right leg to face sideways. Off to the side. So if I'm looking down on my feet, I should see an L, okay? So right leg, toes facing sideways, and my left leg, be facing straight forward. I'm gonna take my front leg and I'm gonna slide it forward. back up a little bit so the camera can see. And I'm gonna bend both legs, but I'm gonna put my weight on my back leg more, okay? Remember, just like I said last week, back stance, back leg gets the weight, but both legs are still bent. And hands to the side. And hold it. Four, three, two, one. Relax, feet together again. Now let's switch it up, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my other leg, left leg, turn the toe sideways. I'm gonna take my right leg and it's gonna have my toes facing straight forward. I'm gonna slide straight forward, bend both legs, and again, back, back leg gets the weight. Next to the side and hold. Now with this one, I want my body sideways. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Now, if your legs are shaking a little bit when you're doing stances, okay, that means we're making them stronger, okay? That means we're exercising them. Last one is horse riding stance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open both of my legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes facing straight forward, and as I said, I'm just gonna bend both legs evenly. And simple, they should have weight on both legs, and the horse, and we're gonna hold it there. Legs bent, toes facing forward, body straight, four, three, two, one. Good, all right. So you should be feeling a little tension in your legs, okay guys, if you're doing it right. So if you're feeling that, good job, okay? Now, let's go ahead and jump into the stance forms, okay? So since we're at home, you're in the living room or in the bedroom, maybe outside, what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate our stance forms a little bit, okay? So instead of four steps forward with one stance, we're gonna go two steps forward and two steps backward, okay? So we can maximize the space that we have for everyone. Okay, so face the front, chip, kunye, and jumbi. And at home, go ahead and participate, okay? I know you're on the screen, but participate, so sound off with me. And repeat after, say, blocking forms. All right, mom and dad, go ahead and comment on the responded. All right, good job. Okay, so let's take our left leg first, and we'll put our hands to the side. And when I say one, you're gonna say one, sir. Okay, ready? And step forward, stance first. Ready? Forward, ready? One. Good. And take the back leg, step forward. Two. I let that just step forward. We're gonna alternate, and we're gonna actually move backwards now on three. Ready? And three. And four. Good. And Jumbi. All right, now let's go to our back stance. Ready? We're gonna step forward with our left leg first. So remember, right leg is gonna turn over the toes. Okay, ready? And back stance. Ready? One, two. And we're gonna step back. Three, four. Good. And Jumbi. Now the horse riding stance, step forward, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna step forward one and two, and then backwards, okay? So make sure you bend both legs evenly. Ready, heads to our side, and step forward one. Shoot my body sideways, two. And step back, three, four, and three. All right, so let's put it all together now, okay? So. This is how it's gonna look, all along. And hands to our side, ready? And forward stance, one, two, backwards, three, four. 
Good. Now we're gonna stay and start from this position. We're gonna step forward to our back step. Ready? And one, two, step back, three, four. Good. Stay in this position. We're gonna step forward to our horse riding stance. Ready? And one, two, and step back, three, four, and Judy. Good job. Kids, reset on your side. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and add our blocks to it, okay? So if you remember last cycle, we did our blocking forms, right? We had down block, middle block, upper block, and we had two punches. Now we're going to add it to each of our stances, okay? So every time we take a step forward for a stance, we're going to switch up the block, okay? So two knee stance. Again, our first stance is forward stance. So we're going to do a down block. So left leg is stepping forward, left hand will be doing a down block. Okay, ready? So bring it over to our ear first and step forward, down block one. Good. Now I'm going to step forward again with my forward stance. But this time I'm going to do a middle block. Remember, the block is right in the middle in front of us, and we're going to make that L, show the muscle. Ready? And good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back with my right leg and I'm going to do upper block with my other hand, ready? And three, good. Now I'm going to step back, four, I'm going to do just strong ki. So I'm going to step back and two punches. And we're going to go from here is we're going to keep our stance and we're going to go ahead and step forward, down block with our back stance, ready? And back, down block, one. Step forward, middle block, two. And step back, upper block, three. And four, I'm gonna step back, and Good, stay right there. Only one punch on that um, back stance. Let's start with my horse riding stance now, and down block, ready? Horse riding stance, make sure you have both legs back. Ready? And two. Step back. Three. Up. And four. Step back. Punch. And Judy. All right. So let's review that one more time. Okay. We'll do a little bit quicker this time. And on our four stance, how we did two punches last time, we'll just do one on this time. Okay. Ready? And Judy. And repeat after me. Ready? And down block one. Middle block two, block three, four, yeah. Okay, ready? And back stance, ready? Back stance, one, two, middle block, three, upper block, four, punch, yeah. Good, now we have a horse riding stance, okay? Step forward, ready? Down block one, middle block two, upper block three, and four, yeah. And Judy, face this way, chip, king in. All right, good job, kids, if you're following along, awesome job. And that is our blocking forms for our curriculum, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, stance forms with the blocks. So make sure you guys practice that at home. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our kicking drills, okay? So we're gonna continue from what we did um, last week. So I got my little pad right here to jump in. All right, so make sure you guys have enough room. You're not gonna be kicking something that can break or kick something that can hurt you, okay? So uh, make sure you're gonna be sideways a little bit. Uh, okay, kids. So again, let's go ahead and work on that roundhouse kick, okay? So right leg kicking, okay? So left leg is gonna be bent on the ground. The left hand is gonna be down, okay? Supporting our weight. I don't wanna be this okay, make sure you have good form and have that body side. Other hand is going to be up. Okay, we want to develop that habit of having our hand up when we kick. So, I'm going to demonstrate first on one. I'm going to demonstrate really quick because we went through it last week. One, I'm going to go ahead and bend my knee, that's called chamber, and my knee is off the side. Okay, and two, I'm going to kick out, point my toes so I kick with my instep, and three, recoil, bend, and relax. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do it. So let's do it together, ready? And one, 
chamber. Two, point the toes, kick. Three, recoil, down. Okay, let's do it again, ready? One, chamber, two, kick, three, recoil, and relax. Now let's just do it on the numbers, ready? And hands up, and one, two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. One more time, ready? One, two, three, relax. Good job. And we're gonna switch over to the other side, kids. So now we're on this side, and get into position. Hands, hand up. Ready? One, chamber. Two, kick out. Three, recoil, and relax. Okay, ready? And one, chamber. Two, kick out. Three, recoil, and relax. Numbers only, ready? One, two. Three, relax. Again, one, two, three, relax. And last one, ready? One, three, and relax. Okay, it's all right. Go ahead and stand up. And shake up your legs, shake up your legs. So now we're gonna play the same thing with the chair, okay, mom and dad? So mom and dad, please go ahead and grab a chair from the kitchen or somewhere where it's available. And if you guys do not have a chair, you can use um, a wall. Go ahead and so put your arm on the wall and do it. Put your hand on the wall and support this way. Or you could use the armrest of the couch. Or mom and dad, um, you can put your arm out or have your child hold on the arm or the shoulder and they could use you as, uh, as support, okay? So I have my chair right here. It should be in front. And our left hand should be holding our support. Hands up, ready, and one. Chamber, two, kick out, three, recoil, and down. One more time, with the words, ready, one. Chamber, two, kick out, three, recoil, and relax. Let's do the numbers now, okay, ready? Uh, Mom and dad, if you're gonna practice this with your child at home at any time during the week, um, don't count too slow, okay, because they're still developing that muscle. You want them to speed up the count a little bit so they can gradually get that control with that leg, okay? So don't count too slow on that. All right, kids, ready? And one, two, three, relax. Again, one, two, three, relax. Again, one, two, three, relax. And let's go do it one more time, ready? One, two, three, relax. Good job, kids. Let's switch the other leg, okay? So remember, we always want to practice both legs when we kick, when we punch. Um, you know, we don't want to have one leg better than the other, okay? We always want to have good balance when we do this. We want to make sure that both of our hands, both of us are ready to go, okay? So let's switch sides. Ready? And hands up. One, chamber. Two, kick out. Recoil and relax. So we we'll try to keep them um, either belt level when they kick, students, either belt level, body level, or shoulder level, okay? You ready? And again. And one, chamber, two, kick out, three, recoil, and relax. One more time with the words, ready? One, chamber, two, kick out, three, recoil, one, or I'm sorry, and relax. Let's do it again with the numbers now. Ready, one, two, three, relax. One, two, three, relax. One more time, ready, one, two, three, relax. Good job. So that's the exercise, okay, mom and dad? So please, um, if you're practicing at home, kids on your own, please do it on the ground first and then into the chair. Um, mom and dad, if you're supervising them, Good job, thank you. Um, just make sure that they do it from the ground and then they do it to the standing position on their support, okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and get that quick water break, kids, and come back if you can. As you get your water break, go ahead and type in whenever you're back. I wanna see who's gonna come back first. And go.
who's online. Um, all right, so everyone should be back. And really quick, mom and dad, before I get rid of this chair, um, another way to exercise is, with a chair is using it as um, using it as a um, tool to change levels with your kick. Okay, so for example, the um, top part of the chair, you can kick to the bottom first, and then to the top. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna go kick low first, and then over the chair, okay? So your child can do that at home, okay? So then we'll go kick low and then high. Low and then high. Low and then high, okay? So they can practice that at home. And again, okay. All right, kids. So for our, um, just like how we do in regular classes, how we do our exercise, we also want to end the game with, I mean, end the game, <laughs> uh, have a class with our huddle discussion, okay? So huddle discussions, if you didn't catch it last time, it's about good manners, okay? So remember, good manners, um, obviously right now I don't have any helpers to help me out with. So there's going to be participation on your guys' part at home, okay? So if you know what good manners are, go ahead and tell mom and dad what are good manners. Okay. okay. Now, our good manners are knowing magic words. So if you know any magic words, can you go ahead and tell mom and dad some of those magic words? I could think of some. Okay. So this, some of the magic words that I could think of, you probably already told mom and dad, like maybe please, uh, thank you, excuse me. Um, sometimes even saying yes or no and adding mom or dad at the end is good manners too. So for example, mom and dad ask you to do something, we say yes, mom, um, yes, dad, um, or no mom, no dad. If mom and dad asked you, um, you know, are you feeling okay? You can say yes or no, but always add mom or dad at the end that shows good manners. Um, what about discover martial arts? When an instructor talks to you, what do you say to show good manners? We say yes, sir. We have a female instructor. Ma'am, just like Miss Sessi, she's a female instructor, so you respond yes, ma'am, to her or Miss Shana at Discovery. So those are all examples of magic words, okay? Now remember, also, good manners isn't just always verbal. It's not always just words and what we're saying. It's also on our actions, okay? So for example, if I am sitting at the table during dinner, especially if I have guests um, or if I'm around my family, now should I have my elbows on the tables and sitting like this? Let's see if I could get a little closer. Should I be like this on the table? Does that show good manners? No, okay. So that's not showing good manners. Um, how about if I'm at someone's, um, if I'm at someone's house, would I go ahead and sit over here like this and put my feet on the table like this and put my hands in the back? That shows good. Uh, no, we wouldn't do that. So remember, good manners isn't always just words, but actions also. Okay, so we want to make sure we do that. And with our good manners, we want to talk about tonality, the way we speak. Okay, our tone of our voice. So, for example, if I say salt from dinner, right, and someone's over there say, "Give me the salt," does that show good manners? Yes or no? No, it doesn't. Okay, so. My tone shows that I'm not being respectful also. So to switch it up to show good manners, I would say, can you please pass us all? Can you please pass this, all right? So I wanna do that, okay? I wanna be more polite. That's tonality, okay? So make sure we practice that, okay? So mom and dad, um, at home, if your child happens to show um, good manners at home or they use magic words, go ahead and type a quick description um, on Facebook um, at Discovery Martial Arts. DMA 209, and short description of how your child showed good manners or their actions. 
how do their actions show good manners, okay? So that's a quick challenge for you guys right there at home. Okay, so repeat after me, say good manners and say magic words. Uh, so now we want to use that, okay, in our words, in our actions. All right, good job, kids. So uh, for the fun game that we're going to add in class, Mom and Dad, you know, just because we're not there at Discovery and we're doing it through a screen online, we're going to still play our fun game, okay? So a fun game is this, Mom and Dad, um, something that you can grab at home, and it's actually um, pretty fun, and you can work on your child's kicks, okay? But make sure there's nothing around where you could uh, – break something or not something over, okay? So mom and dad, what you can do is you can grab a sock at home. What I have here is I have these two socks. Um, they're actually Christmas themed socks. I got one that's a uh, ninja ninja and one that uh, says a ninja bread man, okay? So these were actually um, presents from Discovery Martial Art parents and students this past uh, Christmas. So uh, shout out to you guys, thank you. You know, I really appreciate that, Mom and Dad, for those gifts. So, again, we're going to go take those socks, Mom and Dad. Um, if you need a couple seconds, go ahead and grab those socks. If not, you know, you can replay this video and rewatch it again. I'm going to go ahead and take that sock. What I'm going to do is going to roll it up, okay? So the thing is, Mom and Dad, if you want them to have a pretty easy target, you want to roll it up into a big ball. If you want to challenge your child a little bit, you roll it into a smaller ball, okay? So either small or big, okay? So if you want a big one, you just take two stocks and roll them together, okay? And that should help a little bit to make it bigger. All right, so we've got our sock, and what we're going to do, Mom and Dad, is we're going to work their kicking and their precision, okay, their aim. So we're going to take the sock, and what we're going to do is we're going to have the child sideways, and what they're going to do is, Mom and Dad, you can talk if you're by yourself, kids, um, make sure you're doing this without breaking something. So don't do it near glass, near statues, or whatever that's at home that could break. Make sure you have open space. What you can do is you guys are going to toss it, okay? So the garage right now, so I can't toss it too high because of the ceiling. So what you can do is you're going to toss it, and your goal is to do that round scoop drill that we did, okay? So if you remember that round scoop drill, we had our body sideways, and we kicked out, right? So we want to do that, okay? So we're going to go ahead and have our position sideways, and we're going to toss it up and kick it, okay? So go ahead, Mom and Dad. We'll do it together at home, and I'm going to do it also, okay? So the goal is we're going to do it five times, okay? Obviously, you could do it as many times as you want, but the reason why I like to do it five times is because that way I can keep score, okay? So if I, for example, hit two out of five times, it's like, man, I need to work on it. But then if I see that I'm hitting three out of five, five out of five, five out of five, that means my precision, my aim is getting a lot better. I want to know that progression. So let's do it together, kids, okay? So we have five chances. Mom and Dad, you can either toss it straight up. Make sure you're not too close to your child kick because you'll probably be on this side, Mom and Dad, tossing it up. And your child will be on the other side, and we don't want them to kick you, okay? Um, if you want, you can stand right here, Mom and Dad, and toss it to the side right here, and your child's right here, okay? Um, or kids, if you're by yourself, go to your room. All right, so let's do it five times. I'm going to do it with you guys. And let's keep score. Um, go ahead and type your score on the side too after you do five. Let me know how many um, how many targets you kicked out of five. Ready? And leg up and go. Ooh, make sure you have a good toss though. Okay, that was a bad toss. And ooh, that's one. Let's see. Two. Good. Three, four, and kids, make sure you don't focus too much on the target, but you also want to focus on your feet in your position. And last one for me. Oh, that was too far. Four out of five for Master Nolan. All right, so go ahead and comment how many you guys had. Uh, comment about being back. Good job. Go ahead and write down this. Check your score, Chase. And remember, Mom and Dad, I said whatever we do on one leg, kids, we want to do it on both legs. Okay. Let's try that. Right. And don't worry. 
if one leg has a higher score than the other, that's normal. It just means we have to work on that leg a little bit more. Okay, so leg up and toss up and it's one. And I gotta chase that one down. Leg up. Three and keep getting as tight as I am because I have to run and get my own rebound with the slot. So uh, you guys should be doing pretty well. And got two more. Two and one last one. Let's see if I can get five out of five. All right. Let's see. Give me a thumbs up if you think I can get this last one. I got five out of five, right? And, ah, oh, this was the last one that goes too far. All right. Jared got two out of five, not bad, awesome. All right, Daru's in class, awesome, Daru. Um, don't forget, Daru, you could go ahead and uh, read the video from the beginning, it'll get saved. So again, it's gonna be a209, and you could just go ahead and rewatch from the beginning what you missed. <clears throat> Good. So, mom and dad, you could practice this with them as many times as you want, okay? And let's go ahead and give a couple more seconds for those who are still trying to finish up. Drew, three out of five. Good job. All right. Awesome. Good job. Now, really quick, kids, it's two out of five. Good. And let's see. If I end, if I'm a student and I get zero out of five, should I stop practicing? No, I'm gonna show that perseverance. Keep on practicing. Don't worry. You get that zero out of five. All right. All right, kids. Now we have all those training techniques that we could use for our legs. Okay, so make sure you use that. Practice it um tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday. We watch the videos if you want. We're going to go ahead and we'll do another live video on Thursday, okay, kids? So let's go ahead and give that stop to mom or dad. We'll set it and let's stand and turn it back and let's bow out. Face me, chip, pin. And let's put our hands in our heart and we're going to recite the tenets of Taekwondo. And remember, even though we're on screen, you know, I've said this before, but you still want to participate at home. So. Go ahead and respond along with me. Okay, kids, ready? And turn into Taekwondo, ready? Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit. And how do we lead? By example, what's our goal? Black belt excellence. And when do we quit? Never. Good job, kids. So keep on watching these online videos, mom and dad. Keep jumping in uh, if you can live. If not, please get a chance to watch them um, when they're saved on YouTube, okay? All right, kids, face me, chit. Sabun ke kunye. Kam samida. And I will see you guys on Thursday. All right, train hard, kids, and hang in there. Take this time to spend time with mom and dad, all right? You guys enjoy, be safe, and be careful. Stay healthy.